morning, bursting into flames. It was huge, and we watched in the last hour as tow trucks pulled what's left of the semis away from that accident scene. You can see all the mess right there left behind from the ash and the smoke right there on the ground. We first showed you this just before 8 o'clock this morning when first responders raced to the scene to start putting out those flames. Those flames are huge. Triple team traffic helped guide you around all the serious traffic spots right there and the backups. And fortunately, everybody was able to get away from this accident. So glad to tell you that. And we're not and they were not inside the vehicles when that fire started. We have live Team 2 coverage of the crash and the impact it's still having on traffic on our Thursday afternoon. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez kicks off our coverage from East Point. And Ty, we, we just can't get over what was inside those trucks, right Ty? Well, let me tell you, Fred, one of the trucks was carrying wood, another truck was carrying candles, and the truck that caused all of this is one of those trucks that carries dumpsters, but there were no dumpsters in the truck at the time. Now, I got to walk you through this because this story has a lot of moving parts. We're going to start up here on Washington Road in East Point. That's where the truck was that caused all of this, and police are saying right now that they're not sure if the driver fell out of the truck or jumped out of the truck, but either way, that truck with no driver rolled down across this on-ramp, jumped the curb, hit this sign right here, knocked it over, and rolled all the way down this embankment right toward 285, right in the middle of rush hour traffic. So you can just imagine what this was like at 7.30 this morning. Two 18-wheelers smashed into the truck, which made the trucks burst into flames immediately, according to witnesses, and an SUV also got caught up in the crash. You've got to look at this video we shot. It shows the aftermath on 285 southbound in East Point. The fire caused a huge mess on the interstate. It's pretty unbelievable that no one was hurt in all of this, but as we mentioned, it's really just spectacular that no one was hurt, especially because the crash affected so many people. Now, as I said, one semi was carrying lumber. That's why you see so much burnt wood in the middle of the highway. Another semi was carrying candles. There was burnt metal from the trucks everywhere. This caused a huge mess at 7.30 this morning when this highway was packed. The driver of the silver SUV said everything happened so fast. He's just grateful that the semi trucks hit the back of his SUV. He believes that's the only reason why he survived. Two of them caught fire. My my car, gladly, I was uh, two seconds earlier. If not, my car would, uh, I probably wouldn't be here today. So I'm just glad God was with me and um, I get to go home and see my newborn. And we got a chance to see that newborn because his wife rushed to this scene. It's just a two-month-old baby girl, and they're so grateful that everyone survived this crash, not just Bradley Norris that you just heard from. Now, this is a joint investigation between South Fulton Police and East Point Police, and what they're trying to figure out right now is why the driver that caused all of this ended up outside of his truck. We'll be working all day to find out why and we'll have live reports on channel 2 action news starting at four o'clock today and make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this newscast because anything new that we get fred we're going to pass on to you we're live here in south fulton county taisha fernandez channel 2 action news hold on Ty. i can't believe the story here <laughs> i cannot believe it from the from the truck with no driver i can't either to the trucks with the with the wood and the candles to to the man with a newborn baby who who yes. gets to go home oh, okay uh, this yes. story has layers and i definitely want to hear more about this throughout the day Thank you very much. And we'll be checking in with the, you on the story on Channel 2 Extra News at 4 o'clock. Wow. wow. Our live Team 2 coverage continues now with Channel 2's Heather Catlin and Triple Team Traffic. Heather, this is still really impacting traffic with that with that crazy story. It really is. We are just so thankful everybody is okay. But yes, let's take a look at the roads. We're going to take you to I-285. Now, the accident happened I-285 southbound at Washington Road. Uh, you can see a live look at Traffic Tracker 2. It is still a red alert. All, no cars can get past right now. The good news is that the northbound lanes, we did have two left lanes blocked. All those lanes in the northbound lanes are open. But again, southbound, we have nowhere to go right now. And we have delays all the way up to I-20. That's about nine miles of parked cars. So you're definitely going to want to avoid I-285 southbound at Washington Road. Actually, the whole, the whole uh, west side perimeter. Your alternates right now, they are I-85, Highway 29, I-20, and the connector. But of course, everyone's using the connector now, so the connector is jam-packed. Our advice, if you have to get through the connector, 
leave work early because this is going to affect your afternoon ride. The officials are saying that this probably won't get cleared up until around 5 o'clock. Of course, we will keep you posted about these delays all through this show and again on Channel 2 Action News at 4 p.m. Heather, thank you so much. And we kept you updated on this story all morning long on WSB TV, our news app. You can download it for free and turn on alerts to get minute-by-minute -minute information. Well, rain may have made things more difficult for crews out there cleaning up that wreck here. And meteorologist Ebony Dion is tracking how much rain we could be seeing throughout the day. Ebony. Well, we're seeing just a few scattered light rain showers now. We had a heavy downpour move right through downtown Atlanta, but you can see that activity is starting to wane just a bit, so we're coming up on a break. But where we do have the rain, most of it has been light to moderate in nature, so we're tracking some of that coming back into Carroll County, around Carrollton, some light rain showers for you. Into Paulding County, it looks like a heavier shower just to the south and east of Dallas, and then over towards Covington. So right along into the north of I-20 is where we're finding most of the rain. And then as we head up into the far north Georgia mountains, also tracking some scattered light light rain showers here into Gilmer County over towards southern areas of Fannin County and into Union County just a few showers as well. Now this is just round one of the rain that we are expecting today. I'm tracking a cold front that's going to be moving through and as it does well it's going to bring us a line of rain and storms later tonight. With that some could become strong to severe. No widespread severe threat. It's going to be low in and fairly isolated to the northwest corner but we could certainly be watching out for some heavy rain and gusty winds. I'll have more on that timeline coming up. Ebony, thank you very much. A new study on the COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer found that its booster dose has been nearly 96% effective at stopping coronavirus deaths. The trial looked at more than 10,000 fully vaccinated people. It was done during a surge of Delta variant cases in the U.S. The FDA approved Pfizer booster shots in September. They also said Wednesday that mixing vaccines is safe. We expect another big decision today on COVID-19 boosters. A CDC panel is talking about Moderna and Johnson & Johnson boosters, as well as allowing Americans to mix and match vaccines from different companies for booster shots. The expert panel will then make its recommendation to the CDC's director. The FDA issued emergency authorizations on Wednesday, opening the door for mixing the shots. A live look at that situation on I-285 southbound, right near the airport with multiple trucks crashed during the morning commute and catching fire. Everybody got out okay, but the road is expected to be closed for quite some time. Stay with us for updates throughout this newscast. And your Atlanta Braves knew they had to bring their best to the diamond last night. From hitting to pitching, they really showed up. Get every out I can until, until they take the ball from me. We're live with the, the next air, move right the team field, needs to make well, to make it to the World Series. Plus, hate symbol spray painted on the wall of a school bathroom. Now an attorney says his teenage client was punished unfairly. Closed captioning sponsored by Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News. Supply chain chaos, causing delays, and driving up prices on nearly everything. From the ports to trucking, the supply chain crisis is impacting what you can buy at the store. We are asking how Georgia is navigating the logistical nightmare. Plus, local business owners dealing with shortages as the holidays approach. It's very frustrating um, because we, we just don't know what to expect. Today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News. A short while ago, an injured worker left me a message that said, you probably won't call me back, I'm just a nobody. Those words stunned me, and I 